I'd be hesitant to do that because it's subject to interpretation. It's very sure, subjective. Yeah. So, you know, something something like a map. Um, unlike Wikipedia where you're kind of cruising and you can look at some other source and compare it and see if it's correct or not. With a map, you kind of want to know where to go yeah. then and there and you don't want to screw around with it. Especially if it's an area that you're completely unfamiliar with. Yeah. Yeah, I think when it comes to maps, you sort of rely on the, the map maker, be it, you know, an online um, website or Rand McNally or whomever. Sure. Um, no, I mean, it's it would be different if, you know, as, as has happened with people who use GPS and like, you know, that road doesn't exist or you don't have this new subdivision and they can email and say, yeah. you're missing X, Y, Z. And then the people at the map company can actually look into that and say, oh, yeah, we did miss that or we misnamed it or, you know, it goes over a cliff and <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah, do um, but to actually make real-time changes is yeah. very scary. Choose the residential room type. Yeah, and I don't know where to go with this one. Alright. Sort of stuck here. That intersect. Right, can you delete what you have? It's a battleship or something. It is. How are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I I can recognize that. Yeah. That's <laughs> um, I, if you click this, that'll move you beyond this stuff. Okay. Should be right there. We go. 